is in baseball is and all this stuff, you know. So, you know, uh, as far as safety is concerned, it's, it's fine. Also, again, you're not you're, you're the reason why there is only one football game uh, a week is it's physically grueling. These people are just, you know, literally beat up, you know, because of this of what they've been doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, like a baseball game, you know, occasionally you will get a double header. Those are also grueling, but you can do it. You know, you can't play, you know, two games back to back. Although I do love, uh, I, I, whatever. So yeah, people can do that. I love, uh, 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 George Carlin would do his whole bit baseball versus football. Yes, exactly. It's like, oh my God. Baseball, you're running home. (laughs) I'm going home. You're going home. You're running around a diamond. Football, you're on a gridiron. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes called War Memorial Stadium, Soldier Field. <laughs> Soldier Field, yes. All these places. Yeah, here in San Diego, it's like, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, I forget who it was. Somebody on ESPN once said, uh, the San Diego fans are like the most forgiving fans in professional sports. Like, if you play, you know, this is back when the Padres were great. The Padres are doing fantastic now, but it's like, you know, if the Padres play, you know, if, if the Yankees play this, you know, ba- if the Yankees play as bad as the Padres, there would be blood in the streets in New York. <laughs> yeah. The San Diego fans are like, hey, you'll, do it, you'll, you'll do it next time. <laughs> There's always next time. Until the Chargers left. You know, it's, uh, it's, you know, the, the, the San Diego Padres fans, our, our local baseball team, it's almost like, oh, it's just a, an excuse to go out, enjoy the sun, have some drinks, barbecue, you know, and then there just happens to be some guys on the field playing baseball. I'm, <laughs> I'm very spoiled with uh, baseball games because I usually go, I usually stay in the skybox. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very spoiled when I go to baseball yeah. games. If I have to sit in regular seats, I'm just all like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like because you sit there in the sun. I don't do yeah, well yeah, with the yeah. sun. Yeah. You know, uh, you know something about my complexion. Uh, yeah. It just absorbs the sun. Uh, you <laughs> figured I was so pale, I would reflect it, but no, no, no. Oh. It's the opposite effect. Um, <laughs> and uh, and I just end up feeling miserable afterwards. But if right. I'm in a yeah, skybox, no, 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 no. you know, where it, you know, it's like they're bringing food to you. You don't have to go chasing yeah. down some fucker and his, you know, hot dogs that everybody else wow. is touching. Yeah. Um, or you can, you know, uh, you know, that you've got beer on tap and stuff like that. Like that's an awesome experience. Um, you know, so if you ever get a chance to use a skybox, definitely use one. Cause I remember like, when I worked for Verizon, uh, they actually had a corporate skybox at Petco and, uh, that was fun. So we got to use that quite a bit. And then, uh, also, you know, I was doing art with, uh, uh, Heath Bell, who's actually a former pitcher for the San Diego Padres. So he um, uh, he was super awesome, and uh, uh, you know we would go do you know watch. We took him actually to go see because uh, uh, Doug had uh, seats for uh, he has a uh, Raiders or not Raiders uh, Rams uh, season tickets. So we would actually go up to the Coliseum and watch games up there, which was a lot of fun because I am no longer a Chargers fan. <laughs> right. Um, cause I hate the owner. I love the chargers. I hate the owner. So I refuse right. to support them in any way. And I needed a new team and there were the Rams. Uh, they're just as close. <laughs> Technically at the time they were playing in the exact same stadium. But, uh, uh, speaking of which we're going up to, uh, DCD collects is actually going to do a, uh, uh, we're having a big corporate get together ish corporate ish get together. Cause we're not really a corporation, but, uh, we're doing a big get together up at, uh, 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 at uh, what is it? Um, first week of September, I think the uh, right. Rams are playing the Buffalo Bills. So we're gonna go up there and and watch that. That's gonna be a blast. Wow. So, despite the fact we're sitting here having sports talk, and I'm not really that big of a sports fan. No, no, no. But sometimes, <laughs> yeah, no, neither am I. You know, the, the sports ball is not necessarily my thing. But some so, some of the especially stuff that happens in the city and then i just you know we're nerds and so we, we do love those kind of like behind the scenes stories you yeah know, that go on whereas like well that's great but like what what what, what is their era it's like i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> what are you talking about uh my, my brother on the other hand you know loves all that sort of stuff and he can tell you to hit me him and my dad they just like stuff uh, a lot of people in my family they just love their sports uh 
and their statistics and everything. It, it, it is really impressive, but I can't, I don't have a head for it all. We, meanwhile, I could tell you everybody who was a, uh, a Herald of Galactus, you know? <laughs> which is impressive, but not nearly as useful. Yep. <laughs> I do like the, the the Herald of Galactus, you know. Uh, how many heralds does he have? I, I, I think over a dozen now. Wow. Yeah. That dude's got some serious turnover. Well, yeah, there's some turnover. I mean, it depends on, like, how far back you want to go. Because it seems like he's only had, like, you know, heralds.